Hello fellow Earthlings, it's Libs, and today is the 1st of July, which means it is the start of the Summer Splash Readathon. I say this as it is currently about 10 degrees Celsius, and I've bought a tiny mini heater that is not doing much, and I'm frozen in many layers. But I am excited for this readathon that I kind of didn't realize was happening until 20 minutes ago. So I have been manically planning what I am going to be reading and trying to fit it around the plans I already had for this month and the books that I've just started. So I'm managing to find places for them. At the moment, I'm about 50% of the way through Devotion, which is my pride book and I was also going to use it for the prompt for a book written by a woman. This is an interesting one. I'm not sure how I feel about it at the moment. It's a, <laughs> it's about this girl in Germany in the 1800s who falls in love with her best friend and then they decide that all the families in this community decide they're going to move to South Australia to escape religious persecution. Um, I really liked the first half of this book. Then there's a, there is a twist and um, it's a twist that most people don't seem to like and I would agree I'm not 100% on board with it. And then the other book I'm reading at the moment, and I'm only about 30% of the way in, is Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth. Um, th that's for the book that takes place in summer. I think it takes place in summer. I'm listening to the audiobook. I'm fairly certain this is summer. If it's not, someone will tell me. But you know what? For the sake of I had so many books I was planning to read this month anyway, I'm just going to say it is. It is the 6th of July. I'm finally where there is decent lighting to actually film and do an update. I've read two books so far and DNF'd another. I'm halfway through a fourth. I'm reading a lot of books at the same time. It's fun. So I think last time I saw you, I was finishing up Devotion, or I had finished Devotion, I can't remember. It was okay. I've seen a lot of people talking about Devotion on the ABC book club <laughs> on Facebook, and nobody seemed to like... People liked the first half, but then everyone would say there was this really weird twist, and then they didn't like the book after the twist, and I would probably agree with that. This is kind of like it's a queer love story between these two girls in Germany before they leave for South Australia because of religious persecution. I thought I'd be really into this book because it is kind of my family history in a lot of ways but <laughs> the twist is just it could have worked it could have worked but it just I like to have an idea of where a story is going. I don't need to know everything that's going to happen, obviously, but I like to have some vague idea. And when something happens that is so out of left field that you wouldn't expect for the genre you are reading, it just kind of, it's not my favourite thing. I also don't like that the more interesting characters are just secondary characters and that there are some interesting plot points that are kind of brought up but they aren't really expanded upon they're just kind of like a fun quirk and I'm like that could have been an interesting thing to talk about so I read that for the pride prompt sorry I'm looking into my computer so I can tell you what I'm reading for all the prompts but my computer is old and really doesn't like to work first thing in the morning <laughs> Um, I also read Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth for the um, summary. It had a title. It had an actual title. Come on, computer, you can do it. I believe in you. Five minutes later. I believe. Two thousand years later. Anyway, I read that 
and I really enjoyed it. I didn't like it as much as The Titan's Curse, which I think is my favourite of the series so far, but I still really enjoyed it. I think the ending was particularly, particularly good. I just... <laughs> I don't know what to say about this book without spoiling the series if you haven't read it, but this is the fourth instalment in the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series and it is really really fun and a little bit scarier I think than the other books in the series. So of course the, the final book in the series is the only one that didn't have a weight for the library so I've borrowed it and I'm going to be reading that this month as well as all the other books that I'm reading for this readathon and I slightly regret my decision but I also really need to know what happens next. Um, I know one of the prompts is a book with a yellow cover or with yellow on the cover and it's finally loaded! Okay, so... Oh, it hasn't actually loaded with the books though. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, so I'll... Okay, so I read Battle of the Labyrinth for the Heatwave Prompt, which is to read a book that takes place entirely in summer. And... Devotion by Hannah Kent I read for the Pride one, and... It could also work for my Hot Girl Summer prompt, which is to read a book by a female author, but I do have another book that I'm probably going to read specifically for that prompt as well. Sunny Days, and I am currently halfway through The Remains of the Day by Kazu Ishiguro. I'm really enjoying it so far, but I don't really know what I can say about it. Um, the book I DNF'd was The Mercies, and I was reading that for the Surf's Art prompt which is to read a book with a body of water on the cover. I got 10% in and it really wasn't for me, so I'm going to be reading Where the Crawdads Sing. I'm also reading that for um, the final prompt, which is someone else's favourite book. It's my stepsister's favourite book, so I'm going to read it for that. I'm going to be reading for Roots, which is a book, a childhood favourite. I'm going to be reading Egyptology. The next prompt is Easy Breezy, which is to read a book under 200 pages. I'm either going to read Galatea by Madeline Miller or Notes on Camp by Susan Sontag and I'm probably going to do whichever one of those I decide to read for the touch grass which is to read a book outside. For the branch out prompt it's to read a book from a genre you don't normally reach for and this I've chosen a poetry collection called The Princess Saves Herself in this one because as much as I like poetry I never really read it <laughs> so I'm going to give it another shot. Um, Hot Girl Summer, which was to read a book by a female author, I've already done, but I might also read Dear Girls by Ali Wong, which could also count for the Spice It Up prompt, which is to read a book by an author of colour, but then I could also do The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro, just depending. For Summer Vacation, it's to read a translated work. I either want to read Convenience Store Woman or At Night All Blood is Black. Um... I'm really excited for both of them. Um, I just, I've got Convenience Store Woman on hold, but I don't know if it's going to come in in time. And the, own, the other prompts I haven't chosen books for because I don't think I am going to be reading a book featuring royalty. As many books as I do have featuring royalty, they're all really long. And I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Um, the only other one I'm not doing is Buddy Read, which is to read a book with another person, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that either. So yeah, that is my TBR for this month. <sighs> Plus I'm still reading other books for other vlogs that I have to finish, which thankfully some of these books fit into. It's just, it's, it's, it's a lot of reading this month. I'm glad this is my one month off from uni that I've had in three years. <laughs> okay, so it is the start of the second week in July, and I can honestly say I've never read so manically in my entire life. I have finished both 
books that I've already forgotten the titles of. Uh, I finished Where the Crawdads Sing and The Remains of the Day. Both were a very solid four stars. They were exactly what I expected them to be and were well written and they were good. They were good but neither of them completely blew me away which is kind of what I was expecting. But they're both really solid books. I'm glad I have read them. Um, if you want to know my thoughts in details, um, I will have the vlog where I read The Duchess of Cornwall's favourite books coming out before this vlog. So you can see a more detailed <laughs> exploration of my feelings there. Um, I realise it's now the start of week two and I haven't done any of the activities so I'm going to put on a face mask and curl up in bed and watch on Chesil Beach which stars Saoirse Ronan. I don't really know anything about this film. I just remember I was interested in it when it came out but I don't know if it was released in Australia or if it was only at selected cinemas when it came out. I didn't really see much about it. But one of the activities to do is to watch a film set at the beach. So I think that'll be a little bit better than Mamma Mia. To be fair, Mamma Mia does sound fun. But <laughs> I don't think I'm quite in the mood for it. Other than that, I did go to the bookstore yesterday. And <laughs> I picked up a book you might recognise from my midget freakout tag that I mentioned I really wanted to read this year and that is Frankenstein no Cleopatra and Frankenstein I've been checking my local bookstore for this for ages and of course on the bit huge shelf of new releases it was right at the bottom which is why I couldn't find it for so long but I finally have my hands on it and I know I don't have time to read it this month and yet I really want to read it soon. Um, I'm thinking my next read will probably be Notes on Camp. Oh, and I've started Dear Girls. I've forgotten the name of the author already. <laughs> I read too much. I read too much too quickly. All the books are blurring into one. But that's fun. I've started Dear Girls. I'm about 15% of the way into it and I'm enjoying it so far. Um, the humour is a little bit crude so if that's not your vibe you probably won't enjoy this book. If you don't mind that kind of humour you'll probably have a good time with this memoir. And yeah I think that's it for tonight. I'm gonna curl up and enjoy, hopefully enjoy the movie. Last night's movie was um certainly something. Um, I can't really say I enjoyed it. It's um about this couple in 1962 going on their honeymoon and um everything falling apart pretty quickly. Um it's definitely well written, well shot, um, Saoirse Ronan is fantastic, but it's just kind of an awkward, depressing uh, film to watch and not my favourite, but not my least favourite. I'm just very glad I didn't watch it on the TV where someone else could have walked in during some of the slightly more awkward scenes. It is, what, the um, 12th of July and I have read nine books so far this month and I can't quite believe it. I've never read that much in a month. I'm, part of it is, hey, I'm not, I don't have any study until next week I think I think I start studying again next week which um I've been enjoying actually having a break again I haven't had 
Eve, I think the longest break I've had from uni in the past three years has been a singular week. And that's typically only if an assignment is due, my final assignment is due early. Um, the joys of studying online and not having um, semester breaks or breaks in between anything at all there's there's n typically no breaks this is the first time i've had any break and i genuinely didn't know it was happening which is a bit depressing because i would have planned for a holiday or done something <laughs> in this time besides um just read but it's been fun so yesterday i finished three books I finished, um, I finished Dear Girls by Ali Wong. This I read for the Spice It Up and Hot Girls, Hot Girl Summer challenges. Um, it's kind of a memoir. It's kind of written like a series, like well, kind of like a really long letter to her daughters about stand up comedy and advice and things that she's gone through. And I think if you like her sense of humor you're going to probably really enjoy this book um i i i find a sense of humor hit or miss for me but i did enjoy this book quite a lot i gave it four stars uh, i had a good time with this memoir um i particularly like at the end there's like a chapter written by her husband to his daughters as well so that was quite cute and had some different cute little anecdotes which was fun so yeah i enjoyed that then for um reading a book from a genre you don't normally read um no branching out that's what the prompt was called it's branching out i read the princess saves herself in this one which is a poetry collection by amanda lovelace i think um I gave this three and a half stars. I did like it, but it's that very kind of, I don't want to call it like Tumblr poetry because that sounds like a, a bit like an insult, but um, that really modern poetry where there's a lot of really, really short pieces of writing that are more just about a universal feeling. Um, and I don't like that style much, but there were some longer poems that I really enjoyed. So three and a half stars. It's kind of about, well, it is very much about trauma and the pain of the author losing her mother and her sister in quick succession. But I did still enjoy it. If you like that style of poetry you'll really enjoy this book and then i also finish and then for the easy breezy prompt i read weird things customers say in bookshops by jen campbell and this prompt is just to read a book under 200 pages i have already done that and i changed my mind about what book i was reading for this prompt so many times but it's also the that's also the book I had chosen to read for the buzzword reading challenge for this month so I thought I could just do them together because I've been going through so many books this month that I kind of didn't want to just read a couple books to hit all the challenges I wanted to read a few more stretch it a bit, a bit more this is honestly my favorite book of the year so far which is a bit Surpri well, very surprising for me. This is a collection of weird and dumb things customers have said in bookshops. So there's two main bookshops where these um, kind of quotes all come from and then the third part has just a collection for that um, people who work in bookstores have submitted from all over the world. Um, this is extremely funny it's the funniest book i think i've probably ever read if you've ever worked at a bookstore library or if you've just worked in retail in general you're probably going to love this and relate to this immensely because while i haven't worked in a bookstore i would love to but there are no jobs at bookstores 
where I live at all. Um, if, but if you've worked retail, you will relate immensely to the dumb things that people will say or ask you. It was so funny and I also loved that some of the bookstores that had submitted um, things for this book are like my bookstores that I go to all the time. So my favourite bookstore <laughs> had one and um, others that I visited did as well. So that was extra just exciting. But I had such a great time reading this. I, yeah, never laughed. I never really laugh out loud at books but this made me laugh and it was a fantastic yeah favorite book of the year so far and taking inspiration from all of these books well from this book about bookstores and then the poetry collection that also talked a little bit about how important it is to read I'm going to not my favorite bookstore <laughs> I'm not I wish I was going to my favorite bookstore that would be extra fun but I'm on a different side of the city than I'm normally at and going to Big W and I thought I'd check out the books there. I typically try not to buy many books from places like Big W. I'd rather buy from actual bookstores but I do sometimes like to check them out mainly for new releases just because they have them at a significant discount because new books in Australia typically cost $32 and it's just a lot and they don't have that many new releases at this one but I think they might have Idol and I might pick up Idol because I really kind of want to try it and it's going to be discounted so I'll have a look and possibly show you some books I actually vlog outside of my house for once. <laughs> that uh, book shopping adventure didn't go quite according to plan despite the fact that um, the internet has been telling me they had idol in stock they do not seem to have it anywhere and really didn't have any books I was interested in except one so I did okay I just said I wasn't gonna physically buy this I said I was gonna borrow it from the library but it's not available at my library so I'm hoping this is worth it because I didn't like the first book this author wrote but I did pick up Electra by Jennifer Saint and I'm hoping that I have a better experience with this book than I did with Ariadne. I think um it's I I don't know I'm I'm get I'm hoping these are three separate stories instead of them like flipping back and forth between them all so that it flows a bit better um than her previous book did but I know I've heard people who liked Ariadne say they like this more so I'm hoping the fact that I didn't like Ariadne means at least I'll somewhat like this one but uh this gives me a read for the uh royalty prompt which is good because that was one i was going to skip um because all the books i have with royal cat well, character royalty are books that i've already read or they're like 500 pages and i'm not quite prepared to read like even though i've got another two weeks i don't I don't want to read it because I do start studying again next week or the week after what is the date today today is a and it's so yeah no next week I do start studying again next week and yeah so I will I don't want to read a really big book when I'm just starting a new term. I think this is where I'm going to leave it for this vlog. I will do a part two where I read, I think I've got three books left for this challenge. I might try and do more of the uh, activities since I've only really done, I've done one definitely and I'm 
counting today as um, doing things a character would do. Boy, do I not know what I want to do for like trying to dress up as a character um, from one of these from one of these books. I do not know. Um, I will have to think about that and try and come up with a plan for all of this. So anyway, that will be it for this video. Tomorrow I'll start my next vlog, which will be out at the end of the month. And yeah, that is it for now. Let me know in the comments down below how you're going with this readathon. And I will see you next time. Bye.